Thank you for joining me tonight. My name is Ryan Morrison, your real estate extraordinaire, and I'm here to take you on an adventure and explain to you why you should buy a home. Now, before we get started, let me uh, tell you a little bit about myself. I'm a real estate agent in the area. Um, I've been a real estate licensed real estate agent um, for about eight years now. Um, currently, I'm working on my commercial license and I'm looking to, uh, you know, increase my business. Right now, currently, I sell between five and eight homes a month. And, uh, you know, we're always trying to make that buck and try to make that number go up. You know what I'm talking about? So that's what I do. Let me, uh, I'd like to think that I'm pretty good at my job. You know, um, just a few years ago, I was offered uh, the opportunity to buy a piece of property in Kings Valley in Egypt. But uh, I think it was just a pyramid scam. Anyways, let's get started. Let's talk to why the real reason why we're here. And that is why you should buy a home. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, well... It's expensive, it's a big cost, it's too much of this, it's too much of that. Let's get all that out. If you're afraid, don't. It's you need to drop all that. Buying a home is way more transactional and way more transparent than what you're being told. Okay, and especially if you have a good real estate agent, they can take you through the process, they can hold your hand, and they can lead you through this so you're not feeling scared and alone. Okay, all right. So, let's get started while we're here. Reason number one, why do you want to buy a home? Well, number one, you need a place to live. Let's face it. You, at the end of every day, when you're done your work, when you're done your school, where do you go? You go to your home. Now, you need a place to stay, right? So, you're probably renting right now. So, yes, you're not paying a mortgage, but you're just paying someone else's mortgage. Why not make it your own at that point, you know? This is your world. It's your life. You should make the best of it. Reason number two, home ownership is a tax shelter. There is a, with this, with owning a home, you are able to write off your interest. You are able to get more money back at the end of the year. So the same money that you would be paying for rent at the end of the year, you get that back with your taxes. Sounds like a win-win and there are no rules. So that's way better. Reason three, profits, profits, profits. That's why you go to work, right? For a paycheck? Well, think about owning a home as is a way to make money. Now, it's more or less in the long run, but it's a way to earn money. Okay, what do you mean by that? Well, by that I mean, say you purchase your home in 2015 and your home is valued at $250,000. Well, if you got a good realtor who showed you the market and showed you what your house and home could be worth in that five years, Say it's worth five years down the road, it's 2020, your home is now worth $300,000. Well, what are you going to do with that? You want to sell? Now, because of that, you can now you now stand, after you pay closing costs on your next home, when you sell that house, you stand a chance to make $25,000 just by living in your home. Just by living there. Just by paying your mortgage, you set yourself up for a major payday. And that's definitely where you want to be. Okay? Now... At the end of the day, I think we all pride ourselves on having our own things. I think we love being in charge of our own lives, being our own captains. You know, we are in charge of our world. That's what home ownership does to you. You literally can create your own. You are given a blank canvas and you can make it your own. If you want to paint the walls black, if you want to get 30 cats, that's what you can do. Because you know why? It's your home. Now, granted, some homes do have... <laughs> HOA rules that you might have to abide by, but otherwise, you can do what you want. And really, isn't that what we're all looking for? Let's, we want to live our best lives. We want to do whatever we want to do, you know? So I think that's a very understated reason um, to get that. And there's also a certain amount of pride that just comes with owning it, you know? When you do it, you're your own boss. You're your own, you know, that's what we want. That's what we want. Now, it's also a method of forced savings. Like, well, what do you mean by that? If I'm spending money, how am I saving money? Well, that's a good point. Well, what I mean by that, every month, every single month when you pay your mortgage, part of that mortgage payment goes to your principal loan. Now, that principal loan, you get back when you pay, when you pay that off, you get that back at the end. So that's technically just money you're paying towards yourself. That's equity you are paying yourself immediately. Again, 
It's all about profit. It's investment. It's an investment thing. You're helping yourself down the road. You're learning life skills. You're making money down the road just by paying your mortgage. It's a very, very simple, very, very, very simple thing to do. Now, what else do you do in the home? What do you think about it? What did you do at home? Do you remember going trick-or-treating from house to house in your neighborhood? Did you, do you remember a bunch of kids playing sports in the neighborhood? You guys passing the football with your friends, playing basketball. Do you remember going to school, going to the community pool, hanging out there all summer? Or what about, you know, Christmas mornings, waking up? You know, you got your tree downstairs, you're doing that. Like, you're making memories. You can do that in your home. You create your own family traditions. You're given the flexibility to do that. And I think that's what we all, that's what we all want. That's why we're here, you know? We want to live our best lives and be the best people that we can be. Owning a home is definitely a step toward doing that. Now, at the end of the day, what do we want? We want to be happy. We want to feel loved. And we want to have our own stuff. But one of the best ways to get all three of those, a great place to start, is with your own home. And there's nothing more, there's no more pride that you can bring to yourself than by telling people you are a landowner, you are a property owner. There's an amount of respect and a level of, that just comes to the end with one, you know? So it's pretty fantastic. So, you know, I'm just, I'm just brought, you know, to a line from a movie I'm sure you've all seen. It's uh, The Wizard of Oz. Um, I think Dorothy really really, really says the best, um, and it's very simple. There's no place like home.